back to my video today i am going to reset this bsi from a citroen zara picasso on an 08 plate um, i have the connections 12 volts earth and this particular one is a k-line there's two models k-line and can this one's the k-line the older version um, connected via my go diag to the io terminal so what we're going to do is reset it so i'll take you through what you're looking for when you reset one of these and how it's done so if we go into io terminal okay let it load up right so we are looking for psa bsi i'm going to read the information first so if we read the info first what you're looking for on this so as you can see you've got uh the vin number the manufacturer, the BSI type, uh, the full name, which is no, the bit you're interested in here is 95160 K-Line, okay? Then right at the bottom is version. If you've got a version that is a different number than that, so that's a 0530, if you've got one that's a different number, it will not clone, okay? So they must be the same number. If they're the same number, it'll clone, all right? Uh, so what we want to do is reset it. So we know it's a 95160. So if I click on this and I go connect Okay Let's have a look. We're writing done excellent. So if we now go read EEPROM, this will bring me up the pin code. So there we go. There's our pin code So what I want to do now is just virgin and reset it Okay, so if I go Virgin, Reset, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, this will remove all the information from this module. Okay, so let's have a look at the bottom. Okay, done. Right, now if we go back into this, so if I disconnect now, we will check to see whether this has actually been done. Okay, so let's just disconnect and then reconnect again. Okay, so if I go into memory dump, let's have a look. This should all be Fs. Okay, so there's all this lot. So that's all the previous information. Go back into tool, go connect. Go to the bottom, connect in. Okay, perfect. So if I go read now, that pin code should disappear or uh, not valid or unknown. So let's go read. There we go, not found. So the pin code has been removed. Now, if I go to the memory dump now, there should be no information on this all the way to the top. See, let's see all the Fs. Okay, so all this is just the, the model number and all this sort of thing, but all the info has now been removed. Okay, so all this is just basically the, the basic information that was supplied with the unit when it was new. So if I go back to the tool, if I go back to info read, this one, what should happen now? There should be no VIN number. So everything else should be the same. Okay, so we're going to read. So if I just click read, try it again. Ah, right, so let's turn the ignition off. So if I turn everything off, turn it back on because obviously it needed to reset. Now if I click read again, there we go. So no VIN number now. So the VIN number is invalid. It's a Siemens BSI. So all the information you saw in the dump, that is what's been put back into the vehicle. And the version is 0530, okay? So what will happen now is we'll have to use the dealer tool um, so say for example it's going into another one I can either put the VIN number and the security code back into this one send it to the customer they'll still have to program the key or you can just use uh, Lexia and do it on the vehicle so you plug it all into the vehicle go into Lexia put the VIN number in put the um, security code in and program the keys okay and then it will work so this particular model if, it, if it's a 0530, okay, 
it uh, it won't read it won't clone unless it's exactly the same 0530 version okay thank you for watching for my just previous video that i've just done i've just plugged into another one okay the part number if i turn them around the part number is exactly the same okay part number is exactly the same but as you can see when i read the vin number on this one you read the vin number so this is the vin of the previous vehicle okay exactly the same until you get to version 05 ff now the previous one was 0530 this is 05 ff which means this one cannot be cloned so the information from the other one cannot be cloned into this one so it has to be reset and then reprogrammed by the dealer tool okay but what i'm just going to do on this one is very quickly just do a reset so i'm going to connect i'm just going to connect on this one and then i'm going to read see what the pin code is okay i'm going to virgin reset it I oh, you want to do this? Yes, I do. Okay. What I want to do then is disconnect. I'm going to turn the power off. I'm going to turn the power back on. This time, when I'm going to read it, so I'm going to connect. And this time, when I'm going to read it, it will say, uh, pin code not valid or not found there we go not found so I'm going to disconnect okay I'm going to turn the power off turn the power back on again then I'm going to go into the K line I'm going to connect uh, no I want this one for uh, info read like that read info and then what should happen now? There should be no VIN number. There we go. Invalid VIN. So this has now been reset for factory settings. And as you can see, version 05FF. So all this other information stays. But you must have one the same version number to do an EEPROM, to do a um, an exact clone. Otherwise, it's all got to be done via the dealer tool. Okay. Thanks for watching.